OK, now the people of Wigan are holding the World Pie Eating Championships today. With that in mind, here's your lineup of scrumptious <laughs> ladies. Like apple pie, she's hot, fruity and sweet as you like. Here's Jennifer Ellison. <laughs> She'd be happy with any old filling. It's Carol McGiffin. <laughs> <laughs> this time of year, she's always pie-eyed. It's Jane McDonald. <laughs> and making sure the chat is full of all the right ingredients, it's me, Andrea McClay. <laughs> Today, as Eva Longoria reveals her newfound friendship with Victoria Beckham, we're asking, what do you look for in a best friend? And don't forget, if you want to tell us what you think on any of our topics today, we'd love to hear from you. Email us at loose.women at itv.com. And here to perform his new single, Reinforced Love, it's the former blue bad boy of pop, the lovely Lee Ryan. Queen. She was in Blackadder and more recently appeared alongside our very own Jennifer in Phantom of the Opera. Here to tell us why she's in the Christmassy mood, it's star of Fred Claus, actress Miranda Richardson. <laughs> now, brave you, you're returning to the loose lineup. I am. How's, are you kind of settling in now? Are you still feel yeah, a little bit nervous? Yeah, it's lovely to be back here, yeah. Are, are you all set for Christmas now? Because the clock's ticking. I must say, it's so good to have someone so old on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> What a nightmare! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's lovely to have. Um, actually, I haven't done a thing. It's, um, it's nothing at all. Not what, well. I've bought two presents. I bought those yesterday. So two presents. Two presents, and I've got. So it's many more than to me. buy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no. What, what no, are you going to do for Christmas? Are you do um, It's going to be quite, quite weird because it's actually I was in a relationship for so long and it's my first being, you know, I mean, so I'm going to spend it with my family, my mum and everyone, and my little sister and my dad. So it's going to be quite. Different. Yeah, oh, it'll be different. lovely though, being with your mum and everything. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. and the first one's always the hardest, but after that, you're going to be out partying every night. Mm. Trust us, because you're coming with me and Cavill. Yeah. <laughs> it's good as well, because I'm actually still out, yeah. in Boeing, Boeing, so, you know, I've yeah. got a show, Boxing Day, and, you know, I'm right. working up to the 20 seconds, so... I think I'll be kept working, busy. keeping busy. That's yeah, great. hence okay. why I bought no presents. Uh, well, okay. I, you see, now I had a day off yesterday, and I went out, and I bought all mine in one day. And, and then I, I went for lunch with Hannah, our wardrobe person, and got absolutely trashed. Really? So uh, <laughs> bought myself a pair of shoes and I felt much better after that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've got all mine done. I'm so excited. I can't, can't believe I'm, it. I'm it's pretty done. much done. Um, because I, I knew I was going to be really busy sort of building up to Christmas. And obviously, when you've got kids as well, you, you have to make... Because, yeah. you, you know, you can't say, I'm really sorry, Santa's been really busy. Um, so <laughs> that's that sort of side of things. The children listening is done mm -hmm. um, and hidden, um, but it, it, it feels a bit weird to be this organised so early on. Normally, I'm, I leave a bit to sort of running around, but actually, I'm, I'm kind of done, which is scary because what it means is I'll either lose all the presents that I've already wrapped and hidden, and have to start again, or I'll have forgotten someone. And you know, on the on Christmas Day when everyone's getting theirs, I realise I've left out someone really important, like or my you mum. Have hidden them and I've yeah. got a place you won't be able to find exactly. them. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And you haven't bought anybody anything, have you, Mrs? No, actually, I have. Oh. I, I bought my nieces and my nephew lots of presents. Oh. Um, and, you know, I always say I don't buy other people presents. I'm, I'm getting really, like, you know, being made to feel so guilty because everybody keeps buying me presents. And I'm like, I haven't bought you anything. It's driving me mad. But it doesn't matter because we know that you haven't bought us any. Just thought I'd yeah. put it in again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But um, it doesn't matter because we, we don't expect it back. I am, Do we, I girls? No, we don't. <laughs> you know, I am being made to feel quite guilty, but, you know, I, I did do my, my shopping that I was supposed to ages ago because I've been non-stop partying, mm. and I'm so glad that it's nearly come to an end. OK. Because I'll be going away quite soon. OK, well, um, talking of guilt... OK, it seems that uh, Tara Palmer Tomkinson is spreading Christmas cheer already this year by splashing the cash on booking homeless people into hotel rooms to give them a roof over their head for the festive period. Now, uh, Christmas tends to be the time of year when we all think of giving to charities and helping those in need. But why do we? Is it to help them or simply to appease our own guilt? Do, do the homeless make you feel guilty at this time of year, Jen? Yeah, it's, uh, when I was buying my actual two presents I bought yesterday, I was walking along Sloan Street and, funny enough, this lady came up to me and she was um, foreign and she was like, can you help, please, can you have, have you any money? And I was like, I've got no change because I'm one of these people who just carry my cards and never ever have cash. I was like, I've, I've got no change, so I felt, felt awful. So she went, well, for the baby, some nappies, some nappies, please, and some milk. 
So Muggins here walks to the shop, buys her some milk and some nappies. And I was thinking to myself, that's probably not even her baby. She's probably going to take the milk yeah. and the, you know, the nappies back and go and buy herself a bottle of wine or something. And, you know, the baby looked really healthy and she looked really healthy. So why, was, why did you do it then? Because it felt awful because she was saying, oh, the baby's hungry, can you get us some milk? And I was like, oh, yeah, OK. And I walked off to some shop with this lady who'd never met before and bought a baby. But, but is that, are the homeless, nappies. is it someone that you would normally help at this time of year? Is it, was that yeah. quite an unusual thing for you to do? I'm just a soft touch. I just... Yeah. Well, I'm not. <laughs> 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 what would you have done, Carol? Well, I, you know, I'm sorry, but I, I can't solve all the problems. You know, if, if I gave money to every single person who asked, it, asked me for money every single day, especially in London, I'd have no money. And, you know, I'm sorry. It's, it's my money, and I'm not just going to give it to someone. You see, the problem is I'm quite cynical about a lot of people on the street. And it is, you know, it is a fact that quite a few of them are, are not actually homeless. And, mm. you know, you never know which one's... To trust, I mean, you know, I, I buy the big issue, obviously, and I, I do my bit, but, you know, I will not be made to feel guilty by someone standing near the cash point, which is where they always stand, on like, just Street. joking, yeah, on Stone Street, you know, with a pedigree dog. I'm just yeah. not going to do it. <laughs> I won't. Oh, I'm sorry about that, and I, you know, I, feel, I, I do feel desperately sorry for genuinely, genuine homeless, homeless people, but I just, I won't be made to feel guilty by, by people, I just won't. No. Well, you're quite entitled to your opinion, so Myla Bin. That's why we love you on this show, because you'll tell us all the time. <laughs> <laughs> did, did well, what you about see, you? Well, I must admit, if I'd have seen that woman and she'd have come up to me, I would have said, well, give me the baby, and we've got a wonderful social services here, if you can't look after it. <laughs> and, and you'd have seen that she'd have taken it back pretty quick, because mm. it probably, like you say... Thinking mm. about it now, she's probably sat at home watching the show going... <laughs> That's that long? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, but, but no, see, but you went into a shop ten and you had the pin number and, and everything. And I know, I thought about it, and this woman stood behind me with this baby who I've never met. And I'm putting my pin number in with my card, buying an affies and milk. But do, don't you think, you know, we're, we're, it's far more practical, rather than giving someone, you know, the, uh, homeless people, they generally say change, spare change, this sort yeah. of thing. Don't you think it's better to do something practical? I mean, I, I probably mm. would have done the same mm. sort of thing. Yeah. Um, especially, you know, for babies involved, you would, I, I would feel better buying them something practical like nappies or, or milk. I mean, I... I do my bit, you know, mm. to say I, I have um, a couple of direct debits come out every, every month to certain charities that, that I support and then it's kind of done. So when I walk past people, I feel like I've, I've, I've done my little bit. But I would rather give something practical in as much as, you know, one day recently it was raining, absolutely bucketing it down and there was a man sitting there and he looked thoroughly miserable. So I just took my umbrella and gave it to him because um, I thought, well, I can keep going, I can go and buy another one. And he just sort of went like that. And there was part of me, and I know it's really awful, I thought we could at least have said thank you because I didn't have to do that. And I know that's wrong because I should have just done it out so the... And I did it, do it so out of the goodness of yourself, my heart. really. No, you did it to get gratitude I, because you thought, I'm a really good person, I'm going to give you my umbrella. <laughs> and you <laughs> wanted him to go, oh, thank you, you're so lovely. And he didn't, and you're upset about it. <laughs> no, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think, that, I think also there's other ways of, you know, supporting charities rather than just giving to the homeless. You know, and a lot of people say it's more beneficial if you give to an actual homeless charity rather than That's give right. to them on the, the street. That's right. The bloke who owns the big issue says exactly mm. that, that it doesn't help to give people money on the street. You know, and I do, do a lot charity. of charity work. I raised like over 100,000 for when I did Hell's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, uh, I'm just been asked to be the patron of this fantastic charity, speaking of Christmas as well, called Queenie's Christmas, which is a friend of mine whose mum sadly passed away. And what they do is any old people who live in the community who haven't got family and children or, you know, the loved ones might have passed away, we actually take them out for Christmas dinner and oh, we actually oh, take them to nice. a fantastic hotel in Liverpool. So and what am I doing that? Uh, you see? know, and so it's kind You've of... You've got somewhere to go, well. so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Someone will look after me. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Jennifer. I wish we were all a bit more like you, because you're a lovely, oh. lovely person, and what a nice thing to do. What yeah, that lovely yeah. answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's so time for a break now, but when we return, we'll be asking, is it really such a bad thing to have a one-night stand? Back soon. Yeah. Yeah.